Warm greetings, fellow knights and feudalists. We're back with another helpful intro guide, and today we'll be discussing how players can transform their medieval fantasy of ruling a kingdom of their own into reality within Life is Feudal MMO. Your first step to becoming a powerful ruler within this world is to find some loyal friends, or depending on your personality and political charm, your subjects, and claim some land of your own. Gather 10 of your closest friends or brothers of war and establish a guild. All guild management for the MMO version is accessed through the game's web interface. So please proceed to your Life is Feudal account settings and go through the guild registration procedure. When this is complete, we'll be able to continue the tutorial. Let's get back to the game. Carefully consider where you'll begin your reign. Establishing your rule close to other monuments might lead to unwanted conflicts. You'll mark the initial section of your ever-growing domain by erecting a monument. As a ruler, you'll also have to think about the needs of your people and do your best to provide them with a bright future. This makes finding the perfect plot of land vital to the success of your reign. A place full of trees, animals, water, and fertile soil will surely lead your people to success. Here's a brief geographic breakdown of the world that will help you choose where to settle. If you decide to live like a true northern tribe, you'll be surrounded by large and abundant forests. Logging in the north will be easy and rewarding. Hunting here, however, is a different story. Don't expect to find too much game, so be smart and ration your meat wisely. If you decide to live among southern folk, you'll be thriving in a warmer, more pleasant environment. Here, the sun shines strongly and animals breed quickly, but trees and crops grow much slower due to insufficient rainfall and consistent dry heat. In other words, be prepared to get sweaty because the southern lifestyle is the hottest one out there. As long as you possess land within the world, there will always be determined enemies trying to destroy you and all you've worked so hard to build. Therefore, settling into an open field with no natural protection or vantage point probably isn't the best idea. To build a strong foundation for your kingdom, look for areas of high ground. This will help you and your people defend yourselves from invaders and conquerors. No foe will be able to reach your domain without getting an arrow to the knee. Now that you've decided the destiny of your guild, it's time to show the rest of the world a symbol of your strength. Lay the foundation for your monument, which is done by right-clicking an empty dirt, grass, or paved tile. Then go to Authority and finally select Erect the Monument. To build your first monument, you'll need 100 bones, 40 prepared herbs, 20 hardwood billets, and 5 shaped rocks. Congratulations! You have officially established your guild's domain. From here on out, no one can rob you under the cover of night when you're within your domain, and the surrounding lands now belong to you as well. You'll also have every right to punish any trespasser who dares defile your sacred land. Best of all, doing so won't affect your karma. If you'd like to see the beautiful borders of your newly established kingdom, hold down F4. While you may be protected for most of the day within the boundaries of your land, this world grants everyone the opportunity to resolve their disputes during the Judgment Hour, which removes the protective quality of your monument. Like any good ruler, you should always be looking for ways to strengthen your reign. And with this being the Middle Ages, one popular means to improve your rule is to sacrifice valuable resources and in-game items for the betterment of your people. To do this, approach your monument and click the Sacrifice button. The higher the quality of the goods you sacrifice, the more power and influence your monument gains, which translates to the growth of your kingdom and the expansion of your lands. That's all for today, feudalists. Hope this guide helps you along your glorious journey through our medieval realm. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more intro guides to the world of Life is Feudal MMO.